Hello there Pisces, thank you for stopping by for your video tarot forecast for the week of March 30th to April the 5th. I am using my Russian tarot deck of St. Petersburg once again. And so on Monday what we have coming up is we have the Ace of Cups, yay! The Ace of Cups just means that on Monday you are going to be receiving some kind of expression of love. And when I see the Ace of Cups coming in, to me this is really talking about a cosmic expression of love. This is one of those where you have the moment where you just kind of look around and you go, wow. I am so cared for by the universe, by the Lord, by whatever name you want to hang on that creative source energy where you just feel so cared for and just so sheltered and protected and it's just this total feeling of being loved that just envelops you. It's one of the best messages that you can get. So that's what I see coming in for you Pisces on Monday. Yay for you. Yay, yay, yay. Tuesday, what we have coming in is another good card, actually. We have the Five of Coins in Reverse. Five of Coins in Reverse just means that you are redoing your budget. And you're redoing your budget because you've got a little bit of extra breathing room. So maybe you got a raise, or maybe you got a bonus, or maybe um, maybe you've got something paid off that you've been working on paying off, but now you've got a little extra breathing room, so you can kind of you can kind of stretch out a little bit on your budget. Good thing, good thing for you. All right, so Wednesday, Pisces, what we have coming up here is we have the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. Wheel of Fortune in reverse. Blah blah blah. This is just telling me. First of all. Um, I'm having this come through as it's manifesting in different ways in different lives. So, the first way that it showed up to me is some of you are going to be feeling a little bit yucky as far as sick, fl sick wise. I'm feeling like maybe 12 hour stomach flu, something minor, nothing, nothing really huge, but just something that's noticeable on Wednesday that you're just like, ugh, and completely out of the blue, sudden surprise. So maybe a little food poisoning, something like that, you know. Um, I'm not seeing anything major there. Uh, the other way that this can come in is um, just unpleasant surprises. That's the best word, unpleasant. Unpleasant surprises. I'm not seeing them being anything major or monumental or life-changing. Just, you know, um, like maybe you order salad with ranch dressing somewhere and they bring you blue cheese dressing and you absolutely can't really stand blue cheese dressing. That's an unpleasant surprise. <laughs> so I'm seeing unpleasant surprises come in for you on Wednesday, Pisces, or in some cases I'm seeing some sudden un onset of not feeling so good and feeling like that's stomach issues, something like food poisoning or a uh, short version of stomach flu or something like that. Okay, so Thursday, what we have coming up is we have the Nine of Coins. Now, Nine of Coins just tells me that on Thursday, you're going to be kind of looking around at your lifestyle and your life and the way you're living it, and you're going to be, for the most part, pretty happy with your lifestyle and the life the way you're living it right now. Um, of course, we all have dreams, we all have goals, we all have things that we want to do better with. So I'm not saying that, you know, you have no improvements to make at this point in your life. Um, we would be dead if we were there. <laughs> But for the most part, overall, you're looking around at your life and you're going, you know what, I'm in a pretty good place, really, if you look at the overall picture. Okay, so then moving on to Friday, <clears throat> excuse me, Friday we have the Six of Coins in reverse. This just means that somebody is going to be coming to you and asking for your help. So you get to decide, are you going to be Mr. Nice Guy or are you going to be like, no way, Jose. <laughs> I feel like most of you are going to be Mr. Nice Guy. It doesn't feel like the person asking you for help is really asking for anything out of line or unreasonable. Um, and certainly not anything that you are going to be hurting if you actually um, don't get paid back right away or whatever. So um, I'm feeling like most of you are going to be like, yeah, why not? All right, so Saturday, what we have coming up for you, Pisces, is we have the Three of Coins. Three of Coins is celebration, it's creativity, it's doing fun stuff. And it's doing fun stuff that's unique and original. It's original, fun stuff, fun stuff that's not, um, not prescribed. <laughs> In other words, it's something that society doesn't say, do this because it's fun. This is something that you just really enjoy doing. So for some of you, I'm really getting the impre impression that for somebody out there, this is just uh, practicing the violin or practicing some other musical instruments uh, is coming up as something that you're going to be doing that's fun and celebratory and that makes you feel good on Saturday. Some of you, I think, actually may even be... Um, 
you know, performing live and doing some kind of concert on Saturday, because I'm really getting um, instruments, I'm really getting musical instruments involved in this. And of course there is a musical instrument pictured here, but normally I just don't get that much of an impression about musical instruments off of this card, so that's why I'm feeling, you know, there's an extra music going on on this day. So, <laughs> that looks like Saturday to me, Pisces, for you. Sunday we have the transformation card. Yes, I know it says death. We ignore that word. <laughs> this is the transformation card and it's in reverse. And when we have the transformation card, what's actually going on is we are going through some core value transformations. So when I say core value, I'm talking about those values that we picked up when we were too young to know better. We learn these values by watching mom and dad and how they interacted with the world and our teachers and our brothers and our sisters. And so we learned some things because we just were like little sponges. We learned everything. And it just kind of all became a part of us very quickly. Well, what happens with these core values is sometimes what we're learning um, is not, really didn't serve the people that we were watching all that well, but they just didn't know any better way. And so what happens is we get to be adults and we've learned these core values and we're acting with them, but maybe they're not serving us that well either. And sometimes we get a break and we get a chance to reflect and realize, well, wait a second, I've been doing this all my life, but the results aren't really what I want. <laughs> So then it's time to look at, okay, well, what would be a more healthy way to handle this? And so that's what I see going on with you. But here's the trip, Pisces. On Sunday, you have this change coming in, and you're aware of this change coming in, but you're resisting this change. That's why this card is upside down. You're resisting the change. And the reason you're resisting this change is because you know that it's huge, and you're afraid of how this is going to impact either how you operate at work and if you even like the job you have and if you're even compatible with the job you have or you're afraid about how it's going to be having you interact with people that you love in your life. Okay, So you're resisting this change because you're afraid of the unknown. You don't want to bring that in without knowing exactly what's going to happen as a result of it. Here is the deal though. This type of change, whenever we're changing our core values from something that's unhealthy to something that's healthier, what inevitably happens is that once we can incorporate those changes into our lives, we end up happier and more productive people on the other side of that. So I would say if you notice these changes coming in and you notice yourself resisting them, try to, try to not do that. Try to embrace these changes and really roll with them. Because the sooner you do, the faster you can get to the other side to where you're actually enjoying the results of the changes. And the longer you prolong it, the longer you're going through torture of not knowing where these changes are going. All right, so that is your week, Pisces. For anybody who would like to schedule a private session with me, feel free to, to um, check out my website. I'm at amista.info, A-M-I-S-T-A dot I-N-F-O. Once you're there and you've poked around a little bit, if you still feel like I'm the best person for you to work with, then all you have to do is just get in contact with me and we'll set up a session for you as quickly as possible. And for the rest of you, I will see you all here next week. Everyone have a great week. Peace out.